What's up everyone? How are you doing? Psych, I'm just kidding, I don't care, don't answer the question. Anyways, a week ago I asked you guys if Dying Light the following would be better with a dirt bike instead of a buggy. And we're gonna be pointing out some of the good points you guys made. Quickly before we begin, join up that Discord as we are approaching closer to the 400 members mic. And that shit would be crazy if we managed to hit that. And if you're new to the channel, welcome my boy to the NoVX train and we just keep going faster and faster. I mostly cover PvP stuff, the ugly side of DL that nobody really likes to talk about but hey, somebody has to do it. So subscribe and hit that like button. Ugh, I can't believe I just said that but I don't know, something I kinda wanted to try out see if it even works. So without any further ado, let's continue forward. So about the dirt bike thing I said earlier, it was a voting poll and a majority of you guys said that it would be better which actually kinda surprised me. The reason this idea came to mind was because of the goofy shit me and my friends would do in Ghost Recon Wildlands, especially on motorcycles. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the top comment says it would have been cool but they'd have to find a way to balance it and beat a zombie. Would be cool as a Dying Light 2 DLC though. As much as we will all love it, don't get your hopes too high. He does make a good point about balancing, which we'll get into later. I think it would've. At least it would've been more like Pycoy in a way. A dirt bike would've been much more agile, which fits in the Pycoy theme. And I absolutely love this. Just imagine how agile and versatile you could be on a dirt bike. Be popping off with backflips and stuff like that, you know? But so many upgrades wouldn't work for the bike, and it'd be less effective at running over zombies. Actually, the bike can have different special upgrades for them instead. Features like higher damage than the buggy while hitting a single enemy, but damage greatly decreases when crashing into a horde, making the buggy a better option for that. It could also be faster than the buggy, more easier to control as well. Upgrade ideas could be a vertical blade positioned at the front of the dirt bike, and a logged glass to block zombies from directly hitting the player and ram through them with a bit more ease. Okay, this one's a bit more absurd. Do it yourself, well fed military rifles attached to the dirt bike that will act as a machine gun. Ammo can be stored in higher capacity for the bike and can go up to maybe a thousand or more depending on the ammo upgrades. Ammo for the guns available to collect at military outposts. Bike allowing the ability to use sidearms or long blades for side attacks. Damage decreases if the number of zombies in the horde increases. I absolutely love that last one. You don't even know. Not like definitely better, but interesting for sure. Both would be hella cool. Anyone played Dead Rising 2? You could make a bike there with two chainsaws on the sides. Think about it. As cool as it would have been, I just can't think of the following without the buggy. I can. Fuck this buggy. It's so buggy. Like you've ever had that glitch where you hit a fence or something and you just go flying up? Yeah, it's a fun one, but imagine that with the dirt bike. That would be 10 times better. And then you land and crush your balls. They could have had bike routes that are like a tunnel through the ground like buildings. And if you're going fast enough, you can do a whole loop inside the tunnel, you know what I mean? Practicality wise? No. Fun wise? Yes. Simple, short, and straight to the point. Imagine if the Night Hunter is in the passenger seat. I've seen so many cursed images of Dying Light. That would be as normal as it gets. I could barely drive an inch without crashing the buggy. Totally relate to this man. Those stupid ass puddles on the ground and the toxic spit. Oh my god, that shit's annoying, but yeah, it makes sense. It's for realism. But with the bike, it's a high risk, high reward thing. I wouldn't want to be getting chased by volatiles on a dirt bike. Kinda depends on how you're going at it. Some people recommended a cage to give you protective on that type of stuff. I wouldn't really want the cage, cause then, you know, it kinda makes it broken cause you can't get knocked over. You just gotta be skillful with it. Once you start catching speed, their attempts become futile. That would be cool, but if you think about it, it would leave you vulnerable because the dirt bike doesn't have a cage protecting you from the Night Hunter's pounce. Now here's an idea that I have. The dirt bike could have a upgrade similar to the electric cage, but instead of it being electricity, it could be UV light. So when he pounces you, you could time a UV light flash to free yourself. Now you wouldn't maintain your speed after it, and the Night Hunter would be able to pounce again in like 2-3 to three seconds. Now yes it would have a recharge, but it wouldn't be anything fast, it would kinda take a hot minute so you can't spam it. And since the dirt bike would be going so fast, you would be getting to the nest sooner. And so this UV light flash thing could be as an opportunity to interrupt the pounce before the night hunter could do it again. And you could get off your bike and prepare to fight. Unless he tackles him, that shit would just be hilarious. Imagine the night hunter just tackling Crane like a football, like off a of, bro, 
Oh my god, I'm just smiling thinking about it. I actually love the buggy. Once you have all the good upgrades for it, then it becomes really fun to drive. And some of the buggy skins look so cool too. First of all, I just quickly want to say that 80s kid grown up is another dying like content creator. He makes good content as well. So I'll leave a link to his channel in the description if you want to check him out, which I highly recommend. And back to the comment, fun fact, the driving you see right now, I was having a blast doing. I was trying my best not to crash and make it as smooth as possible, but I'm not gonna lie, I was loving it. Days gone moment. Another fun fact, I'm actually about to crash, burn, and die. So before that tragedy happens, or I don't know, maybe you might find it as a gift from the heavens. Subscribe. Yeah, yeah, so subscribe. I'm not used to saying that, and it just feels filthy and generic, you know, you know what I'm saying. Subscribe, because I do these polls often, and I would love to see your thoughts on the questions I have. Together we could come up with great ideas. And like I said, don't forget to join that Discord. We're actually somewhat close to 400 members. 